Hello everyone, my name is Bindu. In this video, we are going to talk about attaching and detaching a database and also deleting or dropping a database. Let's start the video by talking about attaching and detaching. Um, for example, let's create a new database. Uh, let's say the database name is test data. While creating the database, I am actually creating two files, primary file and secondary file. Primary file is the MDF file and secondary file is the log file. I am just saying OK here. So my uh, test data database is created. Uh, the, the location it's created is um, this, this path my test data database is created under this path so what I'm doing now is I'm detaching the database I'm going to task and say just saying detach just say ok here my database is gone from this database uh, folder let me go to this uh, path where my MDF and LDF files are located I can still see my MDF and LDF files for test data here so now what I'm doing is I want to attach the database back again. So I'm going here, right clicking on the database and just saying attach. And I'm adding the MDF file here, testdata.mdf, I'm adding it here and I'm just saying OK. See my test data database is back again. What if I just drop this test data database, deleting it. When I go to the same path again, now I don't see the test data database here anymore. I don't see the MDF and LDF files related to my test data database. That's the difference between attaching and detaching and dropping a database. In while detaching a database, you still have the MDF and LDF files in the path where you created the database. Whereas if you use delete or if you drop a database, even the MDF and LDF files will also be gone. So if you want to move a database to a different location, you detach the database, copy the MDF and LDF files and attach them. Take those MDF and LDF files and attach them in the server where you uh, want to create the database. 